Hey, Johnny, how you doing? Let's go ahead and jump over. I think it, this looks good. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm really, really interested. I think it's got a wonderful visual demeanor. Um, there's a couple of things I would recommend. That, now, one of the assignment requirements is to determine which areas of the letter forms you can reuse for different to, to create new letters. Okay, so basically in, in type design, what you do is you, you, you take what you already have and you use it to create new elements and this will create a high degree of consistency and harmony, as you can imagine. So I've got a couple of examples, but that's the one thing you're missing a requirement here because the uh, requirement is basically to identify common components and characteristics that were duplicated when rendering the digital title. This means that what areas were duplicated to create new letter forms. And right now you haven't done that. All you've done here is you've just kind of identified these different areas. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go through here and talk about what areas are duplicated. Okay, so for example, if you duplicate that uh, that uh, uh, horizontal arm for the cap T and use it and shorten it up and use it for the, the uh, F, you know, just make note of that. Also, you could do things like this. You could say, all right, so um, we've got this B Right, so you've got this this closed counter for the B. Then you have the lower portion of the B with its closed counter. You could go ahead and just identify this as removing the lower portion of the closed counter of the B to create your cap P. You see what I'm saying? Um, or at least duplicate the shapes to create new letter forms. All right. Another idea would be to take this B. Now you've got these curves defined in the B, right? But the S is completely different. So theoretically, couldn't you use this curve right here for the top of the, the S? Do you see what I'm saying? And then you could you could actually even use this portion of the S right here to create the bottom of the S. See what I'm saying? So you could really theoretically use this portion of the B to create the S. And that's going to increase the harmony of your letter form specifically when they're presented next to each other, right? So try that and also just really try to decipher what parts can be reused. And another example would be this. Okay, so for the, the, the A, right now you're going to take the A, you're going to remove the terminal and turn that A sans the terminal into the O. All right. Um, so think about that. And, and I'd like to, just to, to try to shoot for at least four different areas that can be repurposed to develop new letter forms. All right. As far as the letter forms themselves go, I think you, you've done a good job. I think right now the, the stroke is a little thin. I would increase the stroke size. And the reason we do that is because we don't want those strokes to disappear when we see these at smaller size. Do you see what I'm saying? So you really want to get a little bit, establish a little more consistency in those strokes, I'm sorry, a little bit more contrast in those stroke sizes just by uh, increasing the stroke size by a pixel maybe to not much at all because we kind of want to um, uh, maintain this kind of almost vulnerable stature of the letters and I think that really mirrors the vulnerability of um, Starlink the, the main character in Silence of the Lambs. Okay so that um, also oh one letter form that just doesn't make sense to me here is the this A. Well, this is shaped like a lowercase a while everything else is shaped by up like uppercase letters. I think this A is Boy, I I would recommend that you you try to create a, an uppercase a a based on what you have, just so it just this does this just doesn't look right right here. That's just really jarring. It's just so different. So theoretically, you could take that that M right there, right those those um, uh, vertical stems of the M, and what you could do is you could just take those stems right there and put those on a diagonal. Uh, crossbar between and, and that turns into an A, right? So think about that. And uh, other than that, I think you're you're really doing some interesting things here. And I, I just, I, I love the physical attributes of the letters and how they are so vulnerable, just like the main character in, in the, the, uh, the story itself. Okay, so great job. Those are my recommendations moving forward. Now, um, you don't have to resubmit here for the task, but definitely uh, uh, address those um, 
yeah. those uh, recommendations for your final submission for the uh, uh, mile, uh, milestone submission. Okay, any questions at all, please let me know. I'll be glad to clarify. Thank you very much.